So I'm here with Lewis Harding, who's standing for Director of Events and Services. Do you just want to go through some of the experience that you've got that you think would help? Yeah, sure. Um, so very heavily into my mids, um, theatre here in St Andrews. Uh, directed multiple plays, um, one with a cast of over 30 people, cast and crew combined. Um, so really good at people management, um, visions, you need to have ideas as a director. Um, acting, you've got to uh, show how the, you know, see how the show fits together as a whole, where you slot into that working as a team. Um, it's also community relations manager for On The Rocks, um, helped organise a community play with uh, children from the local community. So I've been through the government bureaucracy of that, through the union bureaucracy of that. Um, we also worked to extend the Barons Theatre licence to include street theatre, um, although unfortunately uh, due to finances we weren't able to pull that off. Uh, but that's maybe something I'd like to see in the future. Um, and I also host and produce my own radio show. Um, I was also first year rep for Albany Park, but I mean, that's a very long time ago. Uh, so one of the things that stands out in that is that it's kind of, there's this progression that a lot of people go from ENTS to director of events and services. Do you think that you'll be, be fine in terms of the events and things for that? Um, I think, obviously, Campbell has a lot of experience um, with that part, but I need to go on my strengths um, rather than looking at other people's strengths. Um, I'm a really good listener, um, really good team worker. I intend to work really strongly with the ends committee. Um, I have a lot of ideas that I think I could work with them. Um, so I don't think that's too much of an issue um, if you work hard yeah. for it. So moving on to your manifesto, the, the first thing on there is bringing some big acts to St Andrews. Uh, via collaboration. Do you want to just talk this through? Yeah, um, so the idea behind that is that um, St Andrews, with the, the smallest student population that we have in comparison to some of the larger student um, bodies, uh, can't get really as large acts as, as some of the other unis. Um, so the thinking behind this is if we um, speak to all the other unis in Scotland, we drop a list of um, you know, events that we, we, we effectively do tour dates, um, which we can then present to agents, um, meaning that we can get really big acts in that you know other unis in Scotland aren't really able to get either, like really top names, by presenting, you know, these are five days, Monday you'll be in Edinburgh, Tuesday you'll be in Glasgow, Thursday, well, actually Wednesday comes next, but <laughs> you'll be in St Andrews and so on and so forth. Um, so I think that will drive down costs and mean that we can get the really big names. And, you know, Tinchy Strider and Goldfish show that we can really be hitting there as well. Have you made any attempts to talk to other universities about this? Um, this is interesting, actually. Um, I've approached Edinburgh. I haven't actually had a response mm -hmm. yet, which my interview earlier with the Saint made it appear yeah, that I, I had. Um, but I just wanted to clear that up. Okay. Uh, so I have approached Edinburgh. but waiting to start a dialogue with do you, them. Do you think that, because obviously in terms of representation there's mm. been a problem setting up chess and things again, but do you think with events that there's, because of the demand for it, that actually it would be easier than the, what the president's had in the past? Well that's the thing, is I think that these are things that students really want, they really want the big names in, <coughs> and any ways that their universities can do that, they're going to support it. Um, so moving on, obviously one of the things that's going to affect all SABs next year is a redevelopment mm. and mainly with you it's going to be the loss of venue one in the second semester uh do you think how, what are you going to do to deal with that um yeah obviously it is a very very big issue um but i'm going to drop a list of all alternative uh venues that have been used um so younger hall we've had kaylee's in the castle previously um i know for instance that the oof, which one is it Trinity Church Hall has been used for wedding events, so it does have an alcohol license which we could potentially lobby for to use over there. Top floor of Victory Memorial Hall is also a large space that we could look into using. Um, outside of that, I think it's been tried in the past. We could see, you know, with the drive of not having venue one, of transporting people via buses to, you know, other cities, maybe to Dundee Union, get something going on there. Um, I think there's a lot of alternatives that we can work around and also the other thing is we're going to have these you know four new great spaces in the union and so I think we can actually develop a kind of different atmosphere um, rather than you know in second semester going for um, large bops etc etc we can maybe um, move towards more live music events small things happening uh, in around these different spaces Acoustic night in Sandy's bar, coffee house session, ooh, coffee house sessions in the rector's cafe, 
Um, so there could be lots of interesting things. And that's the wonderful thing about the union redevelopment and one of the main reasons why I want to do this position is that we have the unique position to define what our union is going to look like, how it's going to feel. And I think that's wonderful. Yeah. Um, that's not to say that we won't be doing big nights. We will definitely be doing big nights. Um, but I think we can do more variety as well. Do you think the funding's there to, to pay for these venues? Or? Um, I think we could definitely make it available. With demand for it, I think we can do anything. Um, and I think there will be that demand. So the, one of the points on your manifesto is more of what works and less of what doesn't. Does that include up things other than events? Or? Um, primarily focused on events. Mm -hmm. So it's to do with, I, I was looking at all the events that have been working in the union. And really what I saw was that collaborative efforts have been doing the best. Music as Loves, uh, Among Us Hi-Fi, Charities Disney Bob. Um, I think we need to have events driven by student societies for what students want and provide union support. Um, because that way we get not only the union's publicity, which we could work on increasing, but also the society's publicity. And it shows that it's legitimately what students want to see. So what do you think about your predecessor, Dan Palmer? Do you think he's done a good job? Yeah, I think Dan's wonderful. Um, I really, I've known him for a very long time, uh, being involved in Mermaids. He was obviously a tech officer in his second year, I think, maybe. Um, but he's, he's been there for a very long time. Um, and yeah, I was saying earlier to, to one of the same things, I think really running the union without Dan Palmer is almost, it should be, almost be an election manifesto point. Um, he makes everything tick. He's really efficient um, and also a lovely guy. Yeah. Lewis Hartley, thank you very much. Thank you.